What's going on guys? It's Master Horticulturalist and YouTube Superstar Paul Outlaw here. I got like 15 subscribers, you can't mess with me. It's just exciting for people at home, I'm sure. Nobody watches this crap anyway. I can do <laughs> I can do this. What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about mowing uh, commercial properties or properties that have a lot of curbs to jump over and some uh, techniques to help you get your uh, mower up over them. Uh, a couple things about commercial properties to keep in mind is uh, when you bid them, go by a couple times beforehand and check out how much garbage is on the ground because that seems to be one of the biggest hangups in uh, mowing anything commercial is you're gonna have to spend a little time beforehand picking up a lot of garbage. This place here has got a food line and a Chinese restaurant across the street. It ain't never struck me to get Chinese food, take out and eat it in the car and throw it out on the way across the parking lot. But for some reason, that's some people's hobby. Because I, every week I'll pick up a couple containers of, from the Chinese place here and duck sauce packages and everything else. Look at that Craig Myrtle. It's that time of year. All right, let's look at the mowers and we'll talk about a couple techniques. Okay, I've chosen to show you curb hopping techniques on these three mowers. Cause these are the three I got. The walker, not a curb jumper at all. The big bobcat, uh, it's got such big front tires on it, you can pretty much, you can get over anything you want with that thing. And the stand on, it's a technique for getting up a curb with a stand on too. All right, let's break it down a little bit. Okay, here we are under the world famous walker mower look how low that is that is the uh blower housing for the uh part that sucks the grass up into the grass handling system the box that is a 500 dollars part just about by the time you get it put on and uh if you go jump it up and down curves you'll tear it all to damn pieces it'll wear out on its own so you don't need to help it because that's something you'll have to replace depending on how much you mow the heat how much you use the mower, how low you mow with it. If you're sucking up a lot of sand and stuff, you're gonna have to replace that pretty often. That's one thing about the Walker mower. It is expensive to operate. But Walker has thought about that and they took care of you, so I'll show you. Okay, like I said, it won't uh, jump a curve or you'll tear it all to pieces. See that black thing right there? Oh, I about tripped over. That would've been pretty funny. That's curb ramp. It sits up there on the front of the mower as a nice foot rest when you take it off. Throw it down the curve like that and go up and down it. Won't tear your mower up. Go up and down it. Don't try to drive this thing off a curve either because it'll get hung up. I'm gonna see if I can uh, set my camera somewhere. I don't have a tripod or anything fancy. I gotta stick it in the sand or something. Well, I'm gonna see if I can set it up to watch it go over the curve. Stay tuned, this is gonna be hot and exciting. I really suck at this videography stuff. But I think I, I got it leaned up against the back of my trailer. Let's see what happens. smaller zero turn or something you probably be better off to try to back it up onto the curve that, and it's, it's really what I do with this one a lot of times too but uh, one thing you got to watch out for is how much overhang you got back here because if it's low or whatever you might hang that on the curve trying to go off of it there I am um, another thing about a mower like this depending on where the muffler's mounted. If you drive this thing down into a ditch and the muffler's mounted down here and you get it stuck with the uh, muffler sitting on the ground, I've seen them burn to the ground like that. Seen, seen mowers burn up to a crisp. 
good old insurance claim there. But uh, with this one with the sprayer on front, it uh, when you back it up onto the curve, the, there's so much weight on the front of it, especially if the sprayer's full, it, the caster wheels tend to spin sideways and hang up because of all the weight. So I usually just gingerly try to drive it up you know, one tire at a time. I'll see if I can set the thing up to demonstrate that action too. Hang on. With any mower, make sure you got the thing in the train, the deck in the transport position before you try to go up curves or jump anything like that. The best thing to do is look for a look for a, or a sidewalk ramp or something. But this place doesn't have them, so everywhere you jump up on something, you got to jump up on the curve. If you got a place with sidewalks or door entrances or something, just go up the ramp. I mean, save your mower. All right, let's see if I can do this without looking silly. All right, you'll see how if it showed up. You'll see how I just came at it kind of sideways and hit it with one, one front tire first, and it kind of picked the whole thing up. And just as soon as it started picking it up, the other front tire rolled onto the curve and picked it up. And then the back was the same way. They kind of, one hit a little bit first, and just as soon as it started coming up, then the other one was hitting it. Don't come at a huge angle, or you'll be hung off with, with one side of the mower up in the grass and one side down on the curve. But uh, now I'm going to jump down. Okay, if you could see that one side uh, came off a little bit first and then before that side even drops, you got the other side starting to ease down too. Okay, right, now we're gonna talk about the Quick Cat a little bit. Okay, the Quick Cat's got some pretty big tires on it, so it jumps a curve relatively easy backing up. Um, I had a right before with some smaller, low profile tires on it and that thing would not back up a curve. You had to, uh, you had to kind of pivot it up onto a curve. I can't even really remember how I did it now, but it was it was a nightmare to get on a curve. But with the uh, with the quick cat, you got that foot platform too, and as you can see, it takes a takes a beat and dropping off of curves and dragging down into ditches and stuff. Apparently, the engineers at Bobcat weren't big time skateboarders in the '80s like Paul's prime cuts was. So if this scraping up of this really bothers you. You could uh, go to your local skate shop, if that exists anymore, and get some skateboard rails and put on that thing, man. Uh, the little plastic rails that you used to put on your skateboard to save your design when you did rail slides and stuff. So that would work on that. But I like to drive this thing straight down into ditches and stuff and come out the other side. When you do that, the platform drags too. But most of this scratching has come from uh, jumping off of curves. do not really bother me. I think it'll survive. But uh, I'll show you a little bit of how I jump the curve with the quick cat. You back onto it. Now we're gonna jump the curve with the quick cat. One thing about the quick cat, I didn't even realize till I had used it some, the caster wheels are pneumatic. I ain't had a mower with uh, pneumatic caster wheels on it in a while. But remember to keep your caster wheels blown up hard. That's a, a big culprit on uneven cut grass, everything else kind of disappointed that you had to blow up the wheels on it but at any rate that's not even what we're talking about uh it, well flat caster wheels will make it a, a bitch to climb up a curve too so we'll try it a couple different ways and uh check it out
made a mistake there. But what I did was once I had the back tires up on the uh, ground, I rotated the mower a little bit and that put the caster wheel hitting the curve sideways. So what you, you know, you want the caster wheels to hit it straight on. So you want to pull straight back once you get the, uh, the back tires up on the curve. I'm gonna drive down from the curve, show you how it looks, and then I'll go up again and see if I can redeem myself. That was slightly better. Okay, you you can drive straight up them with this mower too. Um, what I do when I do that, it just seems to drag the deck a little more for some reason. But what I do when I do that is I'll get both caster wheels squared up on it and push them both up at the same time and then come up semi with one, t one back tire. And as soon as it starts to climb, hit it with the other back tire and jump up. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can do a quick demonstration on that one too. Well, I just, I just keep rolling. So this wire I just noticed in the middle of the shot, that's the thing that makes my trailer ramp go up and down. I guess you'll just have to deal with it. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> That works fine, but the other thing that this hard on is that uh, when you got both tires, both front casters against that curve, and you push into it, you'll notice you surged up those hydraulic pumps. Well, in this case, the hydrostatic transmission on the Quick Cat. But uh, I have seen uh, regular ZTR mowers that uh, people have uh, blown a pump by by pushing that surge it makes, that spike. When you when you push those two front casters against a curve trying to jump it so so keep that in mind be easy on your hydros all right that's just a little bit about curve hopping man that's all i can think about but uh anyway i appreciate y'all watching subscribe like thanks a lot till next time guys <laughs>